Okay, guys, continuing with our um, <clears throat> topic of how to go about and get uh, articles for your research project, uh, I want to go ahead and show you the next database, which is Science Direct. Now, if you haven't seen the first video uh, regarding Academic Search Complete and EBSCOhost, uh, go ahead and stop and look at that video first. Uh, that video is more than just uh, how to find articles. It's also why we choose certain date ranges, uh, as well as going through and selecting uh, various um, subject matters and the peer review process. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and stop now and, and do that. Otherwise, what we'll do is we'll come on down here to Science Direct. And I've, although I've already got one open, I'll show you what it looks like uh, kind of starting out. Now, one of the things, let me get a little bit more space here on my bookmarks bar. Let me turn those off. One of the things I want to show you here is that uh, right out of the gate, you have this uh, search for um, everything, uh, and, and you really can get down to the nitty gritty here. My suggestion is start with journals. Uh, don't go to the alt tab, go to the journals tab. And the, what we've been working on is we've been working on uh, the idea of capital punishment and deterrence theory. So in keeping with that, capital punishment and deterrence. You know, I was just start out with capital punishment. Okay, uh, in turning some of these articles on, um, I'm gonna turn on article and reviewed article. Uh, we're okay with going from 2006 to present, that's fine. And articles in press. Uh, articles in press means that these are academic articles that are in currently either going through the peer review process or have just finished the process, uh, but haven't actually been published yet. And so uh, articles in press really is the cutting edge of research. I always kind of turn that one on too. All right, let's see what we get out of this. Okay, we got 3,811 results. Uh, we're not gonna go through all 3,811 of them. Let's in fact, just take the year 2017. And then we'll say that we're gonna limit that to just journals, 2017 should be about 112. Okay. Uh, and what we're looking here is, uh, is capital punishment a deterrence? Uh, and I'll look through this real quick. Science Direct has a lot of um, non-straight criminal justice stuff. So you're going to get a lot of economics, uh, politics, political science. Uh, you're going to get economics, as you can see, we've got the Journal of Banking and Finance, Political Economy, Dynamics and Control, uh, Business Research. Uh, things that are outside the norm. And that's okay. Uh, when it comes to criminology, uh, we do borrow from multiple disciplines. And there's nothing to say that we won't borrow from business or political science um, or even economics. Uh, after all, we, we do say that there are economics, uh, economic factors associated with crime. So don't just be, uh, don't, don't worry about the fact that you're getting stuff from telematics and informatics, you know, uh, economic modeling. We can, we can take a look at this and see if there's anything of use because sooner or later somebody might throw in an economics of death penalty and you might be utilizing that as an argument one way or the other, either pro or con. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda of take this first result here. I'm gonna open it in a new tab and we're gonna kinda of go through, uh, we're gonna read the abstract just like we would uh, anywhere else to determine whether or not, sorry, it's refreshing. Uh, whether or not this article is going to be of any use. Um, and if it is, great, we're going to grab the article and we're going to grab the citation. Now, uh, for the sake of argument, uh, we're going to grab this article. I can download the PDF. And this is an accepted manuscript, uh, The Logic of Costly Punishment Reversed. And I'm just going to copy that real quick. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other ones. I'm going to save it in a folder and you can see that it titles it something really nasty uh, which means again nothing to me I won't be able to remember that but if you copy the title down and, and you paste the title in here it'll save the PDF as something smart uh, that way you can open it up and, and grab that PDF later and then for grins we're going to export the citation file now I know I haven't explained to you why you want the citation files yet but it's going to come down to this thing right here, this Mendeley. And trust me, you're really going to love the Mendeley aspect of this. 
Uh, but I want you to get into the habit now of grabbing the citation files. And what you want is you want that RIS format, right? Same format you got in the other ones. Bib text and text will work. But if you can get the RIS format, that's what you want to do. You also want to grab the citation and abstract. So I'm going to turn, make sure that those are both turned on. And I'm going to export that file. Now, you can see that it downloaded it science502f1704.ris, which again is absolutely worthless to me. Uh, that's not going to be a name that I can remember very well. So what I'm going to do, and I'll just scroll this up a little bit here. I'm going to rename that in my downloads. And then I believe I've got a folder up here called research methods. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, research methods downloads. So I'm just going to take that file and I'm going to drop it in there with the others from the previous videos. All right. Excellent. So now we're going to slow that. Uh, yeah, okay. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so that's downloading the article. And again, you kind of come through here. Now, one of the nice things about um, Science Direct is that if it's a year that, um, I mean, we can clear the filters out. Uh, if it's been a year that they've gotten all the indexing done, well, let's say 2013. And you come in here, and I'll close this off for a little more space. Uh, we come in here to a an article, let's just say this one. If the, uh, if the article outline shows here, then what you get, you know what, let me, let me turn off my ad blocker here and refresh this page, because I think that may be part of this. The article will load at some point. We'll wait on the article to load up here. Okay. So the nice part here is that you see all these uh, all these links to all of the other articles that they are referencing, and you can come down here and you can actually get down and dirty into the. Uh, references page. You don't necessarily have to go to the PDF up here uh, to grab the articles if they're available. And here's the other thing is that if those articles are available in Science Direct, it will take you to them. So let's see if we can get, I uh, will just pick Brent et al. And there's that article. So, um, well, actually, I don't think it did that. I should have. Okay, well, maybe it didn't do that on this one. Another thing that it'll, so if it can, if it has the article in the database, it will, let's see, there's, there's one, it'll do, it'll go back out to some of the other stuff, uh, in this case, plus one, and it'll grab the article for you. So it's smart enough to know when it has access and what database it has access to. Uh, so don't be afraid to utilize this. This will seriously help you out in terms of uh, not doubling efforts. Uh, and when you're doubling efforts, you're always wasting your own time. So be feel free to use that. On occasion, uh, Science Direct will also show up with a page of similar articles. For instance, if I come back in here and I type in something like cybercrime, something that I, I know it'll have quite a lot of, Come back in here and go cybercrime. And let's see. Let's go journals. And cybercrime detection in online communities. This looks good. We'll use this one. Okay. Come down might refresh on me here there it is I can view in the article the abstract um, I'm sorry the where this is being used um, I can also come down at the very bottom here 
and I, this may just be an asset of me not being logged into the university but oftentimes um, it'll point to another article especially on on a um, like aggression and violent behavior is a uh, a journal that uh, should be in science direct so I should be able to find these articles very quickly <coughs> So uh, another thing is sometimes there'll be a pop-up here that'll say similar articles or articles that are very similar to this uh, or, or have the same topic matter or even some of the same authors. Uh, there'll be a pop-up here. Uh, don't just close that pop-up. The, uh, the pop-up will actually have quite a bit of useful information because the keywords are the same. So this is the, this is the kind of the nuts and bolts of ScienceDirect. Uh, it's probably one of the better uh, one of the better databases you have access to as a student. Um, it's probably one of my favorite databases in terms of uh, that this will have things that aren't uh, necessarily, you're, th you're thinking outside of the box a little bit on this. Uh, they're not necessarily straight up criminal justice or criminology, but they do borrow. Like you won't find as much cybercrime in a criminal justice journal, but you will find a lot of cybercrime here because they borrow heavily on information technology journals. Or in this case, uh, this journal is actually called the Computers and Human Behavior, which is a very well-known journal in information systems. Uh, but this is absolutely uh, cyberbullying detection in the Twitter network. That's totally a criminal justice topic. So don't be afraid to use ScienceDirect to find things that are outside of the normal scope of criminal justice databases. Okay, so this is ScienceDirect. Um, and if you want to create an account, you can save things and, and you can do things in there uh, that you can't do with just the Tarleton access. But I, I highly suggest you take a look at this database. It's going to be a, a really good source for you, uh, certainly for the, the articles that are available and the citation files that are available. Uh, what we'll do next is I'll show you Springer Link and a couple of other databases, and we'll go from there.